Hello and welcome to the CMC Markets Chart of the Week video with myself, Market Analyst Dave Madden here at CMC Markets. Today's date is Wednesday the 2nd of May 2018 and the time has just gone 11.50 BST, British Summer Time. This week's Chart of the Week is the Metal Palladium. Now we start off looking at the weekly chart to get a big overview of what's been going on in the metal the past couple of years. And as you can see here, from the lows of early 2016 right up to the high, up to early 2018, the market has been in a solid upward trend. In that two-year period, the metal more than doubled, which is quite an, which is quite an impressive move. Now, in 2018, in early 2018, in January of this year, a new record uh, for the metal was set. But shortly after that record was was reached, the we saw a bit of profit taking. Uh, some of the buy momentum cooled off, and the market has. The market briefly dipped into bear market territory. 20% of the all-time high is deemed to be bear market territory, and that is what we saw here um, in, in, in April. But since then, the market has been bouncing back. Now, after a, an exceptional move between the lows of 2016 and the highs of 2018, a 20% correction isn't entirely a surprise, given that the market didn't really have much of, any, much of a correction at all uh, in the latter half of 2017. So the wider trend is clearly to the upside, but still it's possible we may see some continued weakness in the near term. I flip the chart over now to the daily chart. Uh, I think you can see a, a better view of price action in the past uh, and past number of months. So, like I stated, in 2018, the market created an all-time high here, and then we saw a classic example of a downward trend in the correction phase. So, we saw a lower low, a lower high, a lower low, and a lower high. And notice how the price has been drifting lower here again, and while the price has been drifting lower, uh, we can see a steady decline in the positive momentum here. And in fact, momentum has actually turned negative and it's increasing. So we could see the market drift lower in the near term. And who knows, it could actually look to retest the recent low in the 900 area here. As we break south of the 900 area, that will then be creating a new low for 2018. And it could take us back to 871, a level not seen since June and July of last year. But as I mentioned, the market has been in a upper trend for, for over two years now. So the wider trend is, is still very much to the upside. Now, in order, if the market does start to push higher and the wider trend is, is, in, the, is in the process of being resumed, uh, keep an eye out for, for certain levels to give an indication that we could be actually resuming the wider upward trend. So the first area to keep an eye out for will, of course, be this red line here, the 200-day moving average, which comes to play at 800, uh, sorry, 983. Notice how it acted as both support and resistance in recent months. So if it's been significant in the past, it could be it makes it more likely that it will be significant in the future. And if you go north of 983, the next big number to watch out for will be the big psychological number of 1,000. And if you go north of that, a price which which could signal an end to the downward trend will be the February high of 1,063. If you take out the the February high of 1,063, that could be a, that could be the sign. Uh, that the negative or the negative trend, the the correction we saw from January until April is over, and if you go north of that, shares will then be looking toward the all-time high of eleven of eleven hundred and thirty-seven. Well, that, that's all for me this week. Thank you very much.